Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'd like to show you guys how you can change the height of any point in your terrain during the game. So this is really important, I think, in strategy games because as you're building more units throughout your world, um, the only way you can do this is to build on a flat surface. So if we have a little hill, for example, like this, and we build the unit on the side, we can flatten out the area. But we can also test if the hill is too steep, for example, this one, and not allow the units to be built in this area. But um, in some cases we can flatten out the terrain in order to build units on it. So in Unity we need to access the height map of the terrain which is stored in an array. Then we can manipulate the data and again set the height. Okay, set the height of the terrain again through C sharp. And to do this I've created a C sharp script called change terrain height. And the only piece of information we need here is the terrain. So public terrain, terrain main. Just going to drag this into the script, like so. So what we're going to do is, on the on GUI method, we're going to create a button. And if this button is clicked, we can change the height of certain points in the terrain. So just to start things very simple so we know how everything works. So just going to build out this button, change terrain height. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is firstly get the terrain height map width and the height. Because to begin with, we are going to set we're going to get the entire terrain height map. And then we'll work out how to do it just for certain points of the terrain. Okay. The second thing is we need to get height use this method it gets the height gets the height map points of the terrain and stores those values in a float array so once we have those we can then manipulate the data and then finally we can use a method called set heights okay to change the terrain height finally. Okay, so the first thing is to get the height map width and the height, just something we can do to make the process easier of manipulating the entire terrain. So we can say the X resolution is terrain main, terrain data, height map width. I'm just going to copy this to get the height of it as well. Height map height. Okay, so we can see what these are if we go to terrain set resolution. The height map resolution on my terrain is 257, so the width and the height should both be this value. So just we can test this if we really wanted to. We can debug these values x res, y resolution when we click the button. So I'm going to do this now just to prove the values. Here we are, 257 units in the X, 257 in the Y. By the way, to make things more complicated, the X axis of the terrain is going in the Z direction of the world axis, and the Y is going in the X axis. So if we look at it in the top view, the X is going up here, the Y is going across. Okay, so moving on, we have this data now. We can get the height of the, in the height map data of the entire terrain. And to do this, we can say declare a float array. We put a comma in here because we want to collect the X and the Y data of the height map. This is how we can store this in an array. Call this height. And we can use another method in Unity terrain main terrain data get heights. Okay, so we have four arguments here X base and Y base. And finally, the width and height of what we want to calculate. The X base and the Y base is an offset, so we can pass in 0, 0 to begin with. I'll show you guys how you can play this later in the video. And the width and height, we can simply pass through the resolution of the, t of the height map itself, so the entire height map. I'll close this statement off. So what this essentially does is start off at 0, 0, and then gets the height map data 
for the entire terrain. 257 across, 250 in height in the in the Y, okay? So let's delete this now. Once we have this height data, we can then manipulate it in any way we like. For example, the heights at points 10, 10, which will be around here, or somewhere around here, in near the origin of the terrain. We can change the height to, let's say, 0 0.5. So we use 0 0.5 because the height can only go from 0 to 1. 1 is being the maximum possible height. So what is the maximum possible height? Well, so we can confirm this by going to Terrain, Set Resolution, and again we can look at the height map resolution here. The maximum height will be again 257. Okay, so to prove this, I think I'll put this at the full value 1, which will be at um, 257 in the game. So 0 to 1. The last thing we need to do is, conf to, is to pass these values to the set height method. We can do this by saying terrain main, terrain data set height. So again, we need the X base and the Y base. In pretty much every scenario, you will probably use the same as the get heights, just so things don't become really complicated. So zero zero, and then we can pass through the heights array. So this is what we need to do here. Let's go back and see if this works. So ten ten, it will be around around this area. Changing the terrain height, boom. Okay. So yeah, it looks around two hundred fifty seven, the same height as this and this axis. Okay, so this is just one point. Obviously, if we wanted to flatten out an entire area, we'd have to do some more calculations. But something to keep in mind is that we cannot undo this once we've committed this in the game. Okay, so I'm going to stop playing now. And if you press Command and Z, nothing's going to happen. It doesn't go away, so we need to be careful of this. So we can get the um, flatten tool and simply flatten this out. Da, da, da. keeping in mind that this also affects the entire terrain okay so this is how we do it we can pass in more values if we like we can say height at 2020 is 0 0.5 we can also say the height at 256 by 256 by the way this is the maximum we can go the index of 256 equals 0 0.5 f as well okay so testing this out now Boom, now we have 10, 10, 20, 20, which is nearer to 10, 10. And right at the end, the last possible value has gone up 0 0.4. Okay, so to demonstrate the X base and the Y base, I'm going to flatten this out. So <laughs> terrain, flatten height map, height 0, boom, flatten. I've got another copy of this in my project, so no worries. Um, so in order to do this, firstly I'm going to make two more val values int x base equals zero, int y base equals zero just making sure the get height and the set height have the same offset so if the x base was for example 125 approximately halfway through the height map the height map data will start in the middle of the terrain so we're going to go 125, 125, it will start in the middle and then we'll have the remaining data for the rest of the height map so to demonstrate this we can pass in this value but if we try to go 257, 257 this will not work because it's out of the bounds like so um, trying to access out of bounds terrain height information because there is because now Unity presumes the maximum um, index here is 257 plus 125 so that's not going to work so I'm going to put in 125 in here I know the maximum value is 257 which is slightly more than um, this plus this which is 250 but just to get my points across now if we try and play the game we shouldn't have any bound errors Okay, so the array index is out of range, and that's because we've tried to pass through the 256, 256. So these indexes are relative to where the X base and the Y base start. So this is why the, the bases get complicated, and we'll probably just use the entire terrain in, in the future videos. But for example, 
let's pass through 10, 10, 20, 20. We know that it was going to start somewhere in the middle here. So reloading the game. Boom. So like I said, because we've gone 125, 125, the values kind of start here now. And then we're just pushing out an additional 10 units and 10 units in the Y. So that's how things work in the terrains, guys. We can change the heights and use the X base and the Y base. But to be honest, this is very complicated. So to revert back to the original example, we pass through the entire resolution of the height map and then we can change any point we like. So I hope this has helped you out. We'll be using this in the future. Well, we need to when we create our buildings in our, in our terrain. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully see you in the next video.